Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Barbara at Queens Avenue Taro, although today it's Queens Avenue Needlepoint. These are the Beth Russell Needlepoint books that I just love, and they are based on her William Morris um, adaptations from his tapestries into, um, into Needlepoint designs. So, there's a glare on here, but... Well, there. They're really beautiful. I think that this particular one is in Victoria and Albert Museum, and it was done in 1887, I believe. So, uh, in 2001, I made this one. This is the fox, obviously. And I think it's 14 by 14. And this is not one of those canvases that you get that's printed on. I have this little section up here because I was going to put it on a chair, but I decided I'm going to make it into a pillow. Um, let's see here. I think it's in this book. So here, and here's the fox made into a pillow, and here it is made into a chair. Is that beautiful? Wow. So, um... This is a charted design. Now she sells, now she's in London, and she sells these as a printed design. But I, I have the books, so I have been sewing by hand since I was four years old, so I thought, well, I know how to do that, and so I, I did it. And this is my result. Now I used, um, I think it's called brown paper packages. Their, uh, their brand is called, one of their, one of their um, products is called Silk and Ivory, and it's half wool and half silk. So it's beautiful, soft uh, wools, and the colors are great. So after I, I did this one in 2001, and then I didn't do any of them for a while. But then after I moved here, I did the rabbit, or I think she calls it a hair. And here is the um, the chart for that. See, these are all the colors. And, and there's another photo of it. Pretty cute, huh? Now, you know what I haven't done? It just reminded me. I haven't put the whiskers on him. When I need to put the whiskers on him. Now, I've done all of these in the exact same, with all the exact same colors. Uh, these are acanthus leaves. Acanthus mollus is the botanical name. And I um, don't know what all these little mill flowers are called. This looks like tulips right there. Uh, but anyway, uh, all of the leaves are all the same colors. You know, they totally go together. So, um, I wonder, I wonder, I don't know, maybe the fox gets whiskers too. I don't know, but he doesn't have any whiskers on there. So after that, I thought, well, I might as well do the raven. Now again, uh, everything is in silk and ivory, except for this time the raven was done in pure silk. And... Something you don't normally do in needlepoint is backstitch, but I did backstitch his beak. And this also, yeah, I don't know where it is, was done from a chart. But again, there's William Morris. Let's see, is it right? Yeah, see, there's the raven in the book. 
But this is the original William Morris tapestry. Isn't it gorgeous? I love stuff like this. Anything English may not count me in. So let's see. Okay, so I'll get to the Raven thing later. Okay, so after that, well, I started the new, I started this woodpecker, but I haven't finished him yet. It's still a work in progress. Pretty large piece. And after that, I could have been a little bit more organized, huh? I did the peacock. And the peacock is going to be just like here. I'm gonna, I know a guy that does iron work. And I'm going to make a fireplace screen to go in front of my Rumsford fireplace. So, again, this was done with a chart. It's very large. This one isn't mine. This is Beth's. Nice little coffer there. I like mine. So this is a pretty large chart, as you can see. It's uh, four pages. So it's really quite an ordeal. Here's another picture of it. No, that's not a picture. Let me find it. Here it is. Upside down. And I wish I would have thought to do the, um, it did. I think I might have used some silk in this one. So, now the, except for the box, all of these have been done in the last five years. Because, um, October 6th, I will have been here five years, and I did them all here. Okay, so it's not over yet. I think the other one is in here. Gosh, I don't want to tear my books up, but I'm going to have to actually look in there. Must be in this one. Well, I really want to make this pillow too. And it, it, come, it has a really cool um, little thing you can put inside of it. Um, okay, so here's the raven. I did that. And um, the chart for the raven is right here. So it's the same size as the fox and the rabbit. Or the fox and the hare is what, what they call them in England. And it is 14 thread canvas, and it's 18 by 18. So next, I took this one on. So this is my finished lion. I'm not really sure what size he is. I don't know if he to have whiskers or not or he doesn't have any now I might have to go back and do that again too this is going to be framed because it's too big for a pillow but we are putting an addition on our house a sunroom and um so there's a picture of the lion I guess it's not too big for that pillow well and and so these are all the colors that I'm going to be using this again was another one that was you know, really big. Let's see. It's uh, probably says on this page. Twenty-one by twenty-seven. So then, well, again, I think I already showed you my work in progress, but it it is the woodpecker. I still have to do this one. And uh, what she doesn't have, um, oh, by the way, these books are absolutely beautiful books. And again, the artist, uh, or the author of these books, and, it, and the Needlepoint uh, 
company that makes this is Beth Russell. She's you can find her online, and she um, she's been doing this for years. Now that pill that I wanted to show you. Oh look at this. I don't know what I do with it. See, this is another fireplace screen. Pill though. Oh, look at this. Antique frame. Now I use a, a, a floor frame, and I also bought it in England. And it is made by Needle Needs. And their frames by far are the best in the world that I've ever found. And I have all different kinds of frames. Um, but I have the Millennium frame, and I have, you know, this, their, their frames are just incredible. Uh, but the problem is, the first order took over a year to get, because they're all handmade, and the second order took um, a year and a half. So, um, that's one thing. But I, I want to do these apples. Look at that beautiful wooden pitcher. Wow. And I want to do... I want to do these. Uh, I want to do these pillows like this, but I'll do them in the same colors, okay? And uh, I'm not going to use a monogram. I'm going to put these bees in there. And I'm, this is the one. This is another one that I love. And I'll, I'll have the bees in here. So, okay, that's back to the lion. And um, okay, so last but not least. I'm going to show you my Magnus Open. My Magnus Open. Is that how I say it? Here you go. This piece is 26 inches tall and it's 60 inches long. It's also done on 14 count canvas and this was a printed piece that I bought from Beth Russell. She sent it to me from London. Although it comes with App Appleton wools, and I didn't want Appleton wools because I wanted it to match the wools, the silk and ivory wools cashmere blend that I was using. So now they all match because they're all using the same, I've used all the same um, threads. Look at that foxglove. Okay, so here's the pheasant. This is a pear tree. I don't know what kind of tree that is. I think it might be a chestnut tree. This is the, this is the pheasant. This is the fox. Oh, looks like I've got a loose th thread there. I need to pull that out. It's hooked, it's hooked on the back. I don't know. Oh, I know what it is. It's to fill in this little place right here. It's not finished. Um, so, uh, These are the bluebirds and the oak tree. Now this has taken me a long, long time to, to make. I started this about four and a half years ago and I'm working on the oak tree right now. There's a lot not done there. There's some that's done. You can tell what's done and what's not. Um, guys, I'm really getting close here. These colors are a little different on the screen than they are in person. And you can tell what I've done and what I've not done. The white spots, those are sections I need to go back and finish. But right now I'm working on the oak tree. What do you think? Hey, I got another surprise for you too. Guess what I got in the mail today? Another book. Yes, sirree. Look what it is. Now, I'm going to put all this stuff up, and I'm going to go read this book. And I'll be back tomorrow, and we'll go through it together. How does that sound? Hey, you guys. Give me a thumbs up. Share. Leave a comment. And um, hit the like button, please. Thanks so much. Bye.